we got, without getting into the politics of who supports what political party, the question is, when the time comes, or if it comes, that a senator or a member of parliament is required to stand firm on some of the constitutional um, rights, or at least what the electorates feel should be the way to go, are they dependable? Are they, do the people that vote feel like this person that I voted to the parliament or to the Senate can stand and protect this constitution that governs all of us? The precise answer is no. Now, Cynthia, we live in the, in the tragedy of the majority have their way and the minority have their say. That is the tragedy of a nation that we live in. Apart from that, we are a party-based a party -based political country. So if a party issues a specific direction, I don't see I don't see any senator who would stand and say, you see, the party has issued this direction, I would stand here and say no. And if they do that, then they are deemed as political betrayers. They are deemed as political <coughs> betrayers. So they, they, they are caught up, they are caught up in a in a dilemma between pleasing the common Wanaichi who voted for them and pleasing the party that now took them where they, they are. That's why that's not why I'm saying as it, uh, that, that question depends on the direction of the political party. That is what majorly depends on. We have, the, we have the chief whip who must whip his members to follow a specific direction. But uh, we've seen, we've seen, mm, let's see, let's see, about two or three who have stood their ground against the party. So dependability is there, but on a few of them. The large majority, dependability, is something we can debate about the whole day. 